Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and uh, we're going to do anything but this one, because I have to turn off my music, and I don't really want to do that, so. Let's do f farmhouse, biolabs, I don't really, like, I've done biolabs too many times, I think. Biotics lab is one I haven't done in a while. I don't know, like Ashwood Asylum. I don't think I've done this one before. Actually, no, we'll, we'll, we're doing hard. I want it up to difficulty, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. It'll happen next time. We'll up it to suicidal, maybe. Oh, it's this map. Yeah, I don't think I've played on this one, but I have seen videos of it. Rom-com weather. Great. Rom-com weather. The like. Water just disappears when you get too close. Who is this mysterious monster? See, calls or whatever. Suits and boots, guys. We got something. That's why you need RTX. I, I have RTX, which just this game doesn't support it. And that wouldn't fix it anyway, Fitted. but it's a similar problem to um, what ray tracing solves. Oh, I didn't change my... um. My perk, my skills, so I don't have the dual mil the dual nine millimeters, and I don't have the fifty armor. That might be a problem. I don't think it should be a problem, but you know, I've I've sometimes I start a swap for other classes too, like when I'm playing in. Uh, public matches or something like that, and I want to be a medic, I'll start a SWAT so that I start with a little bit of extra money, because I know people aren't really going to give me money in, uh, in public matches. Sometimes you find somebody who does. They dump all your all their money at you, and then you can keep them alive, and everything ends up working out well. But usually people just buy things for themselves, and you know, it's fine. But I start a SWAT so that I get a little bit of extra money to spend on myself. This reminds me of uh, Glad you made it back. Don't believe Prison anything. Architect. Yeah, we could have afforded it too. <laughs> That's okay. We'll get it on this one. I don't know where I want to be. Fault this seems closed. like a, Go make a pretty bad place, honestly. Too much. Too many different places where things can come from. Too many lanes to keep track of. I don't know where is a good place though. Probably somewhere inside. I don't Either like being inside though. Paper cut or something else entirely. It is well lit inside, so that's good at least. Stuff can probably fall from the ceilings where there's those holes too. So that's kind of a problem. I don't mind like big open areas like where we were just in the Mario level in the last episode. Um, but small open areas, like outside here, where there's so many different places where stuff can come from, is a little bit undesirable, put it that way. Too much to keep track of. Whereas in like a big open area, you just keep spinning and you see things from far away. Here, I know that maybe stuff can come from over there. But. You know, I don't know which direction they're all coming from. There is a thing there. I don't think we'll find them all. But. I found that one. I still need to get the. Um, most of the collectibles in most of the maps because there's achievements for it all i want to get all the achievements but man <laughs> that's uh a lot of work Buy some armor. Okay, let's get I the nail gun now we are invincible as the, the kids would say this 
that's back in the game. All Zed's on the scope. Matriarch might that be a little bit be troubling. Busy. Um Hans could be, I guess. But I doubt it. And even the matriarch, we're only on hard difficulty, so I, I suspect that the matriarch won't be much of a challenge either. It doesn't do much damage though, you know, like per nail. It's it's not oh goodness. On a per nail basis, it is not a very powerful weapon. It just fires a ton of nails. Get out of here. Uh, that's an Edar. That's a little baby. Oh, I didn't know there was one behind me too. Oh, it's so satisfying to just shoot nails everywhere. And I think they bounce too. Yeah, like they just... So if you have like a corridor that you're shooting down, then they'd like pierce through and bounce off maybe? I'm not sure. That sounds like fun though. SWAT's fun. I like SWAT. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. That's my tip. I really gotta work on my voice some more too. Hello. Cause right now it's a it's a no good. Let's upgrade that, can't upgrade it again. That's okay. Is that no, that's a camera. Very different things. Ooh. That's, that's kind of cool. So is this like an infectious thing? So I've never really like cared for much of the lore in um, KF2. Not particularly anyway. So is it like an infectious thing? Is it like zombies, you know, it spreads? Or is it manufactured? Because I know that the, the patriarch does say like, do you know how much it costs to like make a flesh pound but like I don't so flesh pounds are probably manufactured if nothing else um, which would probably lead me to believe that like scrapes are manufactured as well um, husks maybe but, like what about the gore fats the gore fiends the bloats are they manufactured or do they spread Because those guys were something in there. They looked like they locked up to try to protect themselves. And uh, it didn't work. It's what it looks like anyway. I don't know the lore. I'll have to look it up. Come on. Oh, we got two real flush pounds coming in. That's a uh, no good. <laughs> Never mind, it's a fine. It's a fine! I forgot, this weapon is a. Uh, legendary. Kind of reminds me of Outlast, too, this map. I mean, I guess that takes place in an asylum, and this is an asylum, so it would make sense that it would uh, kind of be the same, but. I haven't played that game through all the way. I don't, I'm not good with scary games. I wasn't even good with this before. It took me a long time to be able to get to the point where it wasn't like scary to be fighting bosses and stuff. Like I used to not be able to play this game at night because I would be too scared. That's wrong button. This one. Who do we got? Bring it. Just don't be the matriarch, okay? Patriarch? I'm back, and I've got some new tricks. He should get dusted pretty easily. 
Oh, I don't know. He's probably up top, right? No, he's like over here. Like we're not gonna have the ammunition to be able to take him out after he uh, runs away. But that's fine because we can just reload. <laughs> oh god, this is so easy. What? <laughs> what is this? That was the easiest patriarch fight I've ever seen in my life. Feeling generous. Yeah, we're going to upgrade the difficulty for SWAT, I think. I think hard on SWAT is just not hard anymore. That's going to do it for this episode, so thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.